guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to talk about keeping a physical sketchbook in order to improve your skills even if you are a digital artist. I am a digital artist. I work mostly as an illustrator for children's books and as a concept artist, so I don't get to draw traditional all that much, since it's faster and simply more manageable to work digital with my Cintiq or iPad. However, from time to time I try and take up art challenges specifically to force myself to draw more on a traditional sketchbook. So why do I do that? Well, here's five simple reasons why drawing on a physical sketchbook will help you become a better artist all around. Reason number one, exploration. Sketchbooks are by definition not for finalized artworks. They are for rough thumbnails, for scribbles and for mistakes. So drawing on a sketchbook takes away the pressure of trying to be perfect and it lets you experiment more and push yourself out of your comfort zone to explore new styles and new ideas. Reason number two, the simple truth. A sketchbook and a pen or a pencil, according to your preference, will show you exactly how well you can draw. There are no layers, no Ctrl Z, no blending settings or lighting tricks. Keeping a sketchbook, a physical sketchbook that is, will keep you honest. It will allow you to discover and work more on the aspects of your craft that you really need to refine, rather than getting complacent. Reason number three, observation. To draw well is to look. Often the reason why our drawings suck is because we trust our mental image of something over what that thing actually looks like. Practicing gesture drawing and cafe sketching regularly will help you enhance your hand-eye connection and make your drawing from reference not only more accurate, but also faster. Reason number four, creativity. We are all busy with school, work, social media, a life. So it's quite normal that you get a million ideas a day for a new creative project that you just can't undertake immediately. If you quickly put it down on your sketchbook, even as a very rough sketch, you know you'll be able to find it again and take it up later when you have more time. It's true that you could do this with a digital sketchbook as well as a physical sketchbook, but I believe that if you have a physical object next to you near your bed when you're waking up in the morning if you want to record a dream, or just next to you on your desk as you're working or studying, that it's really much more immediate than having to take your iPad out or taking your phone out and trying to use those instead. Basically, I believe that if you make something as immediate and, you know, as easy as possible to do, then there is more chance that you're actually going to do it on a daily basis. So a physical sketchbook wins over a digital one. Reason number five, a backlog. Computer storage is great. I have several external hard drives filled with files and with photos, but I always end up forgetting what I've actually got on them. I don't know if you guys keep an exact record of what you have on all your several external hard drives or iCloud storage, but I certainly don't, and I don't think many people do. So we have all this space for storage, but I feel like in our contemporary age, we actually forget about what we keep on that storage most of the times. So keeping a physical sketchbook means keeping an easily accessible track record, not only of your progress, but also of any idea or phase of your creative life. I have kept a diary since I was about seven years old. And believe me when I say that when I go into all my old boxes, that yes, are a bother to lug around when I change house, but when I go into those boxes and look back on all of those diaries and sketchbooks when I started drawing more regularly, I just love to look at my progress, but also just at the things that I used to write, the things that I used to be interested in. So I think that overall, keeping a sketchbook will be an amazing experience that you'll love, especially because it will allow you to look back on your art journey in a few years time. So how can you encourage yourself to start keeping a sketchbook, or if you have one already, to use it more regularly? You can definitely try some art challenges that trend on social media and are easily doable on pencil and paper as well as with digital art. 
The first one is the 100 heads challenge, where you simply have to draw 100 heads. You can do a few per day and don't have to do it exactly every single day, although consistency will help you level up faster. You can use reference pictures found on Google or Pinterest or go to a cafe once or twice a week and sketch the people around you. Another challenge is to do a 10 to 20 minute gesture drawing warm up each morning, like the one that I'm showing you in this video. You can use photo and video references from a variety of resources online. I'll put the links in the video description. Finally, you can try a challenge I did back in June that I called the 10 minutes sketchbook challenge, where I simply use my sketchbook for 10 minutes a day. I didn't set myself a topic like drawing hands or faces or anatomy, I simply had to pick my sketchbook up and fill a page for 10 minutes. Sometimes I doodled, sometimes I wrote, sometimes I did to-do lists. Whatever I did each day, it was a great way to build the habit of using my sketchbook more. I hope you enjoyed watching my quick sketchbook practice and tips. If you did and would like to see more art-related videos in the future, don't forget to like and subscribe to show me. Let me know in the comments if you already keep a sketchbook or if you plan on starting one soon. Bye!